Today on Alaskan Ballistics, 300 Blackout versus 338 Arc. Which one is going to be the best at hunting with a suppressed AR-15 pistol or short barreled rifle round? Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. My name is Chuck. I hope you are doing well today. Today we are taking a look at a couple of PSA products, but we're going to compare the cartridges before we do anything about actually comparing the uppers here. We have 338 Arc with its Sub X 307 grain, and we have the 300 Blackout with its 190 grain Sub X. We have tested the 300 Blackout Sub X 190 grain on the channel before. I'm happy to say it performed a little better in this test, thank goodness. Hornady's been working on it. So let's go over what we have here. Here are the two cartridges, if you are not familiar. 300 Blackout on the left. 338 Arc on the right. So the 300 Blackout's 190 grain. Supposed to be getting 1050, 1050. And the 338 is 307 grain. Supposed to be getting 1050. So we'll see what we actually get velocity-wise and energy-wise. Now let's kind of go over what we have here. We have one PSA lower. This is a pistol lower. I did put a K2 Magpul grip on it. And then this is the eight and a half inch. And we are gonna just show everybody it is clear. All right, this is the eight and a half inch from PSA. They did send this out to the channel to borrow for the video. There is your adjustable gas block. We have a Silence Co Hybrid 46 on it and a primary arms SLX 3X micro. So that's actually been pretty pleasant to shoot in this. It was too too bad at eye relief for the 458 SOCOM, but much, much better on the 338 ARC. Probably perfect for 5.56 or 300 blackout, to be honest with you, with the small eye relief of that optic. All right, PSA did send a magazine, thankfully, and it is a 10 round, looks like a 400 legend magazine everything has fed perfectly from this magazine the magazine's not been the issue we did get the ja gas system adjusted all the way out to make sure everything feeds properly and of course we have the magpul mags short mags here that we can use on youtube 300 blackout and we have a 10 and a half inch barrel instead of an eight and a half inch barrel that's what i wanted when i bought it i didn't know i was going to be comparing it later and we have the whisper strike whisper strike suppressor on the 300 blackout i really like this thing it seems to be the quietest at the shooter's ear to me we got a hollow sun on top of it and of course brake arms charging handle which you know takes away the gas to your face type of thing so we're going to kind of see which one is better for hunting and you can let us know in the comments below which one you think is better for hunting and which one you think is better for self-defense and all that kind of stuff. Which one would you pick and for what job? Put it in the comments below. Well, let's get out to the range. All right, we're going to do five shots of 300 Blackout. This is my PSA build. The Breek Arms Sledgehammer that deflects the gas away. We got the Whisper Strike Suppressor on there. All right, and here we go. 300 Blackout, 190 grain, sub X. Ten thirty-two. Okay, they're pretty much hitting where I want them to do. Ten fifty-three. Cool. So they're staying subsonic in the ten-inch barrel. That's always good. Ten sixty-three. So they got faster as we warmed up. They're hitting point of aim. So we should be pretty good there. Let's switch it over to the 338 arc and see what we get with that. On our session summary here, we have a minimum of 1032.6, a maximum of 1077.0, and an average of 1057, all subsonic, 190 grain, a spread of 44 feet per second which is not great and a standard deviation of 14 which is not bad for factory ammo 
probably open up a little bit if we shot the whole box, but it's not bad for factory ammo being under 15 on the standard deviation. All right, now we've got the PSA 338 ARC. First time shooting it suppressed. We have a hybrid uh, 46 from Silencer Co. on there. We've got a primary arms optic. It does have a low eye relief, so I might get popped in the face a couple times with it. Other than that, it's a wonderful optic. Well, here we go. Let's see what we get here. Looks like it's hitting way to the left. 1031. So, a little louder because it's a bigger projectile. More powder is burning. Probably slightly. Okay. I think we're hitting a lot to the left. I'm going to shoot at the paper in a minute to try to get some groups. But we'll try to see where it's hitting. And 20 and that was five shots that I accidentally put six in there I think I put six in there by accident pretty quiet for such a big round of 307 grain bullet so we got to get it on the paper it's the first time we shot it fed functioned perfectly it does have an adjustable gas block from PSA and the hybrid 46 from silencer coast one of my favorite suppressors it's awesome 1026.7 was the average feet per second, so it's a little slower. 1035 was the highest uh, feet per second. 1020 was the lowest. For extreme spread of 14.2 and a standard deviation of 4.8, that's really, really good. Um, this hybrid 46 tends to have a first round pop that actually lowers the velocity too, so that did not happen on this rifle. It happens on my 4570 and on my 458 SOCOM. The hybrid 46 was did a good job of suppressing even for it being a bigger diameter than the uh, bore is. All right, here we go. 338 arc. Hope the airplane noise is out. Primary arms, silencer co, all that jazz. PSA. Here we go. 338 arc. And I do want to thank PSA for sending out this up for the test. It's been really awesome so far. Just got to get the gas system right for subsonics. That's it. Here we go. All right. Let's see what we did. All right. Let's see what we did. All right. It hit right here in the pork shoulder and not a big tear up like you would expect from a major rifle thing right there but a pretty big hole looks like we shed some lead in a track and it did go out the back and into the side and we have the most of the bullet in this side jug we got lucky so there's some bullet in the actual gel itself we're going to dump this out carefully And this is typical for, actually this is one of the best expanded Hornady Sub-Xs I've seen. Typically they don't expand this much, but we got three pedals torn down. We got some chunks of lead off. Uh, we did not have straight line penetration after hitting the bone and going through the ballistics gel block, but it was straight enough that a deer or a black bear would be fine, I think. I think a deer or a black bear would be absolutely okay with this. We'll take this back to the house, measure it, weigh it, and then we will uh, see what we got. So this right here, we thought we had a, only a hole in this bottle. Got a little hole in the bottle behind it here. I don't see a, any parts of the bullet in there, so it, it might have hit, made a hole and bounced out. Anyway, let's get back to the house. We'll weigh that and compare it to the other one. All right, here we go, 300 blackout. Let me get my safety glasses on here. Uh, the Whisper Strike suppressor is good enough for me on the ears part, but we got 300 blackout. 190 grain sub X. Sounds like we hit it. I think I heard that bullet hit the jug again behind the, the ballistics gel. Let's go figure it out. All right.
right, we do have the torque shoulder here. It hit a little lower in the bone, and that's a pretty nice hole. It's not really torn up like a high-powered rifle would do. Intermediate cartridges are intermediate, and there's where we hit it. Hit it a little low. I hang them slightly high, and hit it a little low because uh, my gun is not sighted in for this ammo. I prefer another ammo for it being sighted in with. And there is the bullet at eight and three quarters inches. We did measure it. We did measure it uh, off the uh, phone from the measurement of the phone. We forgot a tape measure of all things. But yeah, the clear ballistics gel, there's the bullet, eight and three quarters inches. Let me see if I can get it out of there for you. All right, this is our 300 blackout bullet. We did confirm it penetrated eight and three quarter inches after it went through the boned in pork shoulder, which is probably about four inches of penetration. Did a good job of expanding. These uh, Hornady Sub X seem to expand better in pork shoulders and gel than they do just plain water jugs, which is typical of most bullets. You can see it's good expansion there. Can't wait to get it back to the house and weigh it. You can see that's about four inches thick there. So it went through that, did a little number on it. I'd say that the 300 blackout was straighter line in its penetration. It still wasn't straight straight. It was still curved a little bit in the block, as you can see the path down through there. But it didn't penetrate as deep. So I'm calling the winner of the penetration test the 338 arc. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right. Here is the 307 grain 338 arc bullet. Weight retention, 291.5. That is excellent weight retention. Probably. Probably right up there at the 99 percentile, 98 percentile, something like that. Here is the 300 blackout bullet. 187.2, so that's definitely up there in that same percentile rating, same percentage there. The farthest point of expansion for the 338 arc, 0 0.721, 0 0.721, not bad at all. It actually peeled more of its pedals back they went farther back on the bullet then did the 300 blackout all right and we have 0.73435 somewhere in there for the 300 blackout bullet not bad at all you can pause the video here and read the add up slide if you wish thank you for watching the video this far appreciate you making it to the end here which one do you think is better? I'm, I'm clearly saying for hunting, 338 arc is the winner. More penetration, more foot-pounds of energy because of the heavier bullet. You can even get some decent foot-pounds of energy out of the supersonic rounds that they have for it, which we'll do some testing with that later. But yes, this is a great comparison. 300 blackout is perfect for killing white-tailed deer and other medium-sized game. I think you could do caribou with it if you get, get close enough to a caribou but all of that being said 338 arc much much better hunting round than the 300 blackout is so for example bear bait station up here you're doing a bear bait station 338 arc suppressed excellent excellent round don't forget to go check us out on twitter x at ak ballistics and on instagram at the real Alaskan Ballistics on Instagram, The Real Alaskan Ballistics. We like to post stuff over there, too. We're on Clapper, and we're on Arms Directory, and MeWe, and all those other places. So go check us out. Guys, we really enjoyed making this video. Let us know how we can improve in the comments. Don't forget, discount codes Alaskan, Whisper Strike. Guys, God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range. Godspeed, and good hunting to all of y'all.